Hi, everybody. I'm Rich Ramirez, owner operator at East Rosebud Fly Shop. This is my good friend Jason Workman here to tie a bullet head caddis for us tonight. Jason, anything you got to say about this fly? Uh, no, you know, it's, um, it's kind of a productive pattern just because it uh, passes for a stonefly, a hopper, or a small caddis. Uh, tie it in a variation of sizes. This is about the biggest you want to go. And then as small as you can tie it. What sizes do you fish it in? Uh, usually like a 14, but... 14's the sweet spot. During hopper season, I'll go bigger and, and it'll, it'll, get, it'll get it done as a hopper too. So. There you go. Thank you, Jason. So I'm, uh, like I said before, I, I don't, uh, I don't usually go much bigger than this size. This is a Dairiki 700, uh, size 10, 4x long. Um, when you go smaller, in order to get the head on, you're going to need to go with like a 4x long hook, um, just to get a little bit extra length. Um, and I'm using a 60 thread in black. Um, it all just kind of depends on what uh, what colors you wanna what you wanna use. Um, so you'll start by putting down a thread wrap and wrapping back to the bend in the hook, and um, I take it back forward. going to put on some dubbing. I'm going to go with a darker gray. Um, this is crystal dub dark ears hair. And just going to put a little, little section on right there. on some gold, iced up golden stone, right below that, going to take a brown quill off of uh, whiting butter pack, and I'm going to tie that in about a third of the way back. Secure it. And then I'm gonna start wrapping backwards towards the back. You can always put on a little bit more, build up that body. Take it to the bend of the hook and bring it to a stop. And you'll take your bugger feather and you'll Towards the back. And you'll slowly wrap over the uh, hackle that you just put down to kind of help secure it. And you'll trim off the end. And you're ready to put in the wing. I've already taken some. Uh, deer hair and uh, cleaned out all the underbody and stacked them in my stacker. So you're going to basically measure 
about the length of the body. You're going to tie in the wing section. Lay down a couple wraps to secure it, and then before you let go of the wing, it helps to kind of cut away the tag ends of this gear hair. So once you get the wing secured, take another smaller clump of deer hair, about half the size that you used for the wing, and you'll uh, comb out all the underfur and stack it. So this time it helps when you're taking it out of the stacker to take it out the opposite way so that when you're holding it, you're holding it with the tips forward because you're going to tie them with uh, the tips of the hairs pointing out towards the front of the hook. What you'll do is you'll basically measure about the same amount as the wing. You'll advance your thread up to the eye. you lay it down right over it. Make three wraps, cinch it down, get it nice and tight, and then lift that up, cut it all out. Tease all those down. I have a second clump that's the same size as that one. These ones, uh, you're going to end up cutting the tips off, but in order to have something to, to palm her back and, and to, you want to have about the same length. And uh, We'll just attach these to the bottom, make three loose wraps, cinch it down good, make a couple more, and trim it out. You have those tightened in, you'll slowly kind of wrap back to where the wing is. One of the things that helps is if you That's about 800 bucks. Yeah. put the hook in the vise so that the, the hook is actually in the vise and you can't get your fingers hung up on it. So you'll take and you'll just kind of push those hairs back a little bit. Wrap it all back and you just put a big thread wrap around it and secure all those going backwards and you've got that nice bulb on the head that uh, gives it a good rounded shape, a good silhouette. 
with a fish looking up from the bottom. Um, take some rubber legs, size small rubber legs. I'm using yellow and black. And you'll just simply secure one on each side. Add on a couple wraps to make sure they're nice and secured. And then take another little bit of dubbing. Cut the thread, and then you'll roll it over and uh, kind of put the tip of your scissors up against the leg and dig the tip into those hairs and you can kind of peel them out and clip them as you go. Work your way around the hook and you'll start to see some of those fibers off the hackle stand back up. That is pretty important for buoyancy and keeping it, uh, keeping it high in the water so that it's putting off a good silhouette from the sea and And whenever you're you know, tying legs in, it's good to, to use a little bit more rubber than you need and uh, trim them down to where you want them. And you'll use, use some super glue around to where the whip finish is. And what you have there is your bullet headed caddis. Uh, like I said, the, the bigger you tie them, the, the better they are as hoppers, and the smaller you go, the more they'll pass for small stoneflies and uh, caddises, and uh, it's a very productive pattern, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Catch some fish on it. Thanks.